Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about another viral occurrence. Now, this one I think is by far one of the dumbest fucking things I've ever seen, mainly because we talk about this all the time, how TikTok doesn't necessarily always spread misinformation, but TikTok does have an aspect of bandwagoning that I do think people hop on to political causes, whatever you want to call them, without fully understanding the political cause that they're supporting, and then doing something stupid like this, which is like, you don't even recognize the flag of a country you supposedly, I mean, obviously don't support if Israel, not Greece. So we're going to talk about that today because I do think that there is a genuinely dangerous precedent in actually spreading misinformation because if you have people with large platforms who have some degree of credibility if they're telling you hey this greek flag is actually the flag of israel if someone doesn't a fact check or know what the flag of israel looks like that will cause mayhem for the sake of mayhem and it's one thing if you want to make a political statement the only thing I always say with political statements is to make sure that you know what you're actually talking about. That's why when sometimes people ask me about certain things, if I don't feel like I know enough, I'd rather not say anything because I don't want to contribute to fuckery like this. But of course, this is TikTok, so any serious topic on TikTok almost automatically sucks. TikToker who tore down a Greek flags thinking they were Israeli dubbed one of the dumbest people on earth by frustrated locals. Okay, that's a funny headline. An anti-Israel influencer is being dubbed an uneducated nitwit by members of her community after she mixed up the Greek and Israeli flags during a hateful frenzy outside a New Jersey restaurant. Amber Matthews, 23, filmed herself ripping down a decorative string of Greek flags she thought were Israeli at, oh, I always fuck up that word, is it Giro? Gyro? Never mind. In Montclair in March, and was then arrested on Tuesday after she posted the now viral video to her social media accounts seven months after the blunder. So there were a bunch of people who were commenting on this happening because as we have established, it's stupid as hell. I do think that there is a larger discussion to be had and we'll get there in a second, but <laughs> some of what the locals said is hilarious. She did make herself look like one of the dumbest people on earth. How do you not know the difference? Natalie Lee, owner of Mickey and Al's a kosher deli, Montclair told the post. If you're going to make that kind of statement, at least know your flag. I cannot imagine that someone is that uneducated that they don't know the difference. What she did, you made people believing in their cause look like idiots. It clearly was done for the likes, that's it. The post made several attempts to contact Matthews. I always think that's so funny because in a case this embarrassing, I don't even know what you could potentially say to the post. Like, ah yes, I do not recognize two flags that are only vaguely similar if you count the colors, I guess. Anyway, Matthews, who goes by Ambamelia on social media, posted the ludicrous faux pas to TikTok on October 15th, which shows her screaming, look at that shit. I don't stand for Zionism in Montclair while holding a fistful of ripped down Greek flags. The video titled, the time I mistakenly thought the flag was for Israel and took the restaurant's flag down, oh my God, has since generated nearly 4.5 million views on TikTok and millions more on X. Frustrated residents said they were shocked by the hostile act of vandalism in their extremely diverse town explaining that a person can express their beliefs without destroying someone's property. And I'm about to come back and put free Palestine too. The free Palestine, they... Look, what she looking at? You know damn well there's a genocide. You know there's a genocide. Now stop it. You taking, I'm taking this shit down. I believe this one. I'll take this one down right here. What are they gonna do? They can't do nothing. I don't stand for it. I don't stand for it. Look. I don't stand for this. This there's genocide and I don't stand for Zionism. I'm not clear. I don't support it. There's a genocide. You know that, right? They're killing children. What's the purpose? Be proud of your heritage. Y'all understand there's a genocide, right? You understand, right? There's nothing against people who are Jewish. But this is this is not okay. Who's this? This is Greeky. What? 
Really? Greek kid. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was Israel. My bad. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. My bad. Look, it looked like it looked like Israel. It's really not okay. Well, you want it back? Why well, did it already? This is not okay. Are you trying? To, let me look this up. Right now. now, this is the larger point I wanted to make about all this. Which, first of all, stop getting your information from TikTok. It's one thing to watch TikToks. It's another thing to just take people at their word based on what happens on there. The amount of misinformation I've seen about true crime, about even current affairs, which aren't my specialty, the amount of misinformation that people usually put out there, obviously with a very particular narrative in mind, and the people then commenting, not going to check a secondary source, and they'll just buy into it. And the worst part is not even just believing it, but I guess if you want to call this an act of violence, ripping down the flags, they decide to fully run with something they do not, well, either they don't understand or they don't understand enough to not even realize, ah yes, this is in fact a Greek restaurant, not the place for me to be making a political statement, but I digress. And regardless, I don't think anyone's going to not take the war seriously, okay? Let me be very clear about that. It's a war. That being said, I do think the people who actually have valid commentary to make lose, I don't want to say credibility, but you know, this makes it look bad because it goes back to even in the Jake Paul days when there was this kind of narrative that every single YouTuber lived in LA and wasn't a fucking idiot, which is true about Jake Paul, but you can't loop everyone together like that. The unfortunate thing is the people who are actually informed, the people who actually have YouTube videos, TikTok content, who comment on not only current affairs, but comment on wars, who comment on the military, people who have valid credentials and knowledge to do that, I'm not saying they're not gonna be taken seriously, but certainly it does not help to have some fucking moron screaming about Zionism while at a Greek restaurant. So another quote that really shows her ignorance and stupidity, the resident said throughout the video, Matthew screamed free Palestine bitch at restaurant workers and asked them if they knew there was a genocide going on and that they're killing children as she eviscerated the Greek flags. All of this is hilarious in a very pathetic way because do you know that there's a genocide going on? It's like, do you? Because I don't remember anything happening in Greece right now. So what what is that? And that's the other thing that's dangerous about these people who accumulate information on TikTok or sources that are not reliable is that they have a false sense of security in knowing exactly what they're talking about while being completely fucking wrong on the most basic element. The flag is the most basic element of this conflict. Everything else, there are plenty of complications. Like with any war, the flags are usually the easiest part. All the complications, ramifications, consequences, that's the difficult part. So if you're fucking up the easy part, girly, like why are you even talking about this in the first place? And that's exactly why I've said time and time again, you are not forced to talk about everything. It's fine to say you don't know enough or you don't feel comfortable talking about it because you feel you don't know enough. That's okay to do, especially if it avoids shit like this, because now what are we doing? We're paying attention to shit like this when the alleged goal was supposedly to fight Zionism by ripping down the Greek flags. So what did we do? We lost time. Two staff members eventually came out of the eatery looking confused and embarrassed for the hysterical hater with one gently pointing out that the white and blue flag represented Greece, not the Jewish state, according to the footage. What, really? Oh, I thought it was Israel. My bad, she responded. Oh shit, it looked like Israel. Can you imagine like harassing workers at a store and destroying property and then just saying, my bad, I thought it was another flag. And the most hilarious thing is that the police department investigated the incident back in March, but had no leads until she posted her own video.
So she shot, I mean, I guess she shot herself in the foot in one way. She definitely is getting a lot of attention, in my opinion, not for the right reasons, but she literally got caught because of her own post, because the cops apparently had no leads. Anyway, Matthews is scheduled to appear uh, at Superior Court on December 3rd. I'm very curious to know where this is going because with the political implications, I feel like no matter whether you agree with her or not, I think certain people will want to make, like take a stance just, you know, like she did for the, for the kicks. Cause you don't really know what the fuck you're taking a stand for. And that I think will be disastrous. That will be mayhem. So I'm very curious to see how that goes. I want to see like, if she tries to start a career off of this. I always say I can't believe starting a career off of this, but so many people have started careers on dumber shit. So I could imagine her actually being like, oh, I'm the girl who thought a Greek flag was Israel. Anyway, you guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always, and we'll catch you guys next time.